so coffee's been consumed because that is important and it was a very early start this morning um, but today we have something incredibly excited planned with none other than James Strawbridge um, an incredibly talented writer uh, really good chef and very very creative so today we have this really big event up at Tintagel Castle um, it's going to be a collaboration with so many other artists, uh, performers, artisans, really looking forward to it. So we're going to try and video log, vlog, uh, I'm still not up to terms with the whole YouTube jargon. Um, yeah, hopefully you enjoy the video and I sound so cringe, hit that like and subscribe button. Ugh. Anyway, let's get on with some other bits and enjoy. So I heard there's going to be a big old hog roast or some form of pork. Um, for that we need a decent carving knife so I'm thinking of bringing one of these up. Um, I'm reckoning because we're in a medieval you know castle it's all dark and all that wouldn't go for this one which is one of our well carving knives obviously um, and it has a really nice teak handle and a beautiful dark patina on so I think that'll do. So let's get that sharpened up and polished and then we'll crack on with a few other tasks. Literally going to sharpen a knife. I'll speed this up so it's not as boring to watch. So now it's all razor sharp, ready to slice some pork. Um, time to give it a bit of a polish. So it's going to clamp it up and apply some gorgeous beeswax from Devon. If it was Cornish, it would be better. So the car is packed and we're ready to go, but obviously I cannot drive and film at the same time. Not only because I'm not great at multitasking, but because it is slightly illegal. So I'll get the camera back out when we arrive at the castle and we'll carry on filming then. Tintagel, known for its links to the magical tales of King Arthur and its rich and vibrant history. Author and presenter James Strawbridge, along with English Heritage, organised this medieval-themed collaboration full of artists, artisans and performers to relive a day far back in the past, accompanied by traditional English feasting. Now, as many of you may have experienced, there is something incredibly primitive about cooking meat over an open fire, and the fact we were doing this in a castle on the edge of a Cornish coastline made it even more spectacular. And the feast itself consisted of lobsters, mussels, fish, cheese, and whatever else Mother Nature's larder could provide. Everyone chipped in to cook and plate up this vast, bountiful harvest from Cornwall's wild larder. And while sitting down at the long wooden table, visions came to light of what it must have been like to inhabit the castle all those years ago. The conversations, the music, the art, and obviously the food. Imagine if you could go back in time and see it all for yourself. Well, for our community of artisans, artists, and performers, it truly opened our eyes. This is Tintagel, where knights in shining armour once walked, where dragons ruled the skies, and where a group of Cornish-based creatives spent the day and thrived. 